a Brussels sprout and cauliflower, onion, fennel and cucumber, plum, pear and papaya Aubergine and sire, lime, lentils and quinoa, oatmeal bread and oatmeal flour, watercress and okra, tofu and sweet pepper As you can remember, when we first came here, there was a lot of paperwork to do Well right now, in this movement file, we got a few more papers This is about uh, to get your Japanese personal number uh, We got I'm not sure if the papers is here, but uh, there is some information that we need to fill in due to us living here for uh, a year. Uh, if you live more than three months in uh, in Japan, you will have to like tell them like where you get your money from and so forth, which is difficult because how do you translate um, between currencies? Do we add what the currency is, or do we add it in Norwegian crowns? Don't know. So we just decided to just go right down to the city hall and just ask and see what do we actually do? Some might ask us now, why do you take bicycle? We clearly know how to take the train. Uh, there is a couple of reasons uh, for this. Uh, one is that we, we want to stay in shape. Uh, also, bicycling is sometimes preferable. Uh, for other reasons but um, last thing is it doesn't go much faster taking public transport uh, no, no seriously uh, if I were to take public transport now we would have to walk to the closest station uh, closest station to the city hall is the uh, uh, Wakayamashi station where you would also have to walk from um, so no it doesn't take any shorter time taking the train really. Uh, going to the city hall is uh, often uh, really crowded. Wonder how it looks today. Let's see. No, not that crowded today. It was quite fine actually. Well you don't eat at a place like this if you're hungry, but it tastes absolutely amazing. We visited the supermarket and found those two. Read everything on them. They're vegan. There's a problem though. I am allergic to apples and both of them contain apple paste. This is so frustrating. Absolutely. Oh, it's awful. It's not it's not the company's fault. It's just why do I have to be like uh, now even that you finally find like a burger? Then I can't eat it. Well, I can't. Then I will lose my taste buds. We have a little bit of an interesting situation, or is there's uh, two boys blocking the road? <laughs> Again, as soon as they pass us. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's not like we have bad time or anything, it just uh, reflects a little bit of a uh, shoulder issue. We took a little stop on Starbucks again. Yeah. Yeah, I will have uh, this burger and you will have those two donuts. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> and you will have all this for yourself. Yeah, this is mine, this is yours. Yeah, right. Mm. Yeah, now uh, this is actually really nice, but it, it, it's it's rarely you'll find them. Why? <laughs> hopefully, because it's very popular. Yeah, hopefully. Well, uh, pandemic restrictions off. Still, we're wearing masks because majority is still wearing masks. Coming off as stupid foreigners. Nah. We found something interesting though. There's a German bakery in Osaka, meaning. We can get vegan bread, but also whole wheat bread. Hopefully, so, hopefully. <laughs> uh, we, we don't know if, if if we reach there, it's probably closed. Yeah. <laughs>
German bakery seem to be open. There is a Deutsche Backstube. Backstube? Yeah, there's no E in the middle. Oh, Backstube, okay. Backstube. Hello. Hi. Hello. Which one is vegan? Vegan? ちょっと難しいですね。そうだ。あの、動物性持ってませんので。動物性がないやつは、えっと、ただこれ、え、一本ずつでよろしいですかはい、よろしく。はい。1760。1760。はい。はい、よいのお返しです。ありがとうございました
Chinese vegetables. Yeah, Chinese vegetables. Yeah, that was also the thing. Could have just asked. Although having AC card, you can actually order to get a specific seat, which we paid for. And we just used the AC card to get in, which I think is the right thing to do. <laughs> to change to a pirate train if we get there in time. I don't know when it goes but they are pretty on point, a little too on point. So changing train if you're on a different platform takes some time. And then you might not reach it. I think it's due time to get a blender finally. Uh, <laughs> so that uh, leads us to the Yamada store. What you didn't say, uh, after the last clip, I um, sat down, ready to take out my phone. And wow, where is my phone? <laughs> so I ran back to the other train. Um, they let me in, although they'd. Um, they shut the doors couldn't find it okay let me out okay and i said to myself oh okay calm down just get a new phone don't need to stress about this and then somebody behind me said excuse me i found it and then i ran back and i thanked them for it and at the very next moment i thought oh my ic card it was in the phone how would I explain that when I reach the station? So, uh, Ulayana, which problem do you usually have when you're trying to use a GoPro while bicycling? Hello! Yeah, but what is the problem? It's shaking. Why is it shaking? Because we don't uh, like have a proper uh, thing to put the camera on. Yeah, so w one, one thing you could do is putting it on your head, but then there's a hem helmet. Yeah, the helmet is... But if, but if you want to put it on the chest, what's the problem then? <laughs> Well, you can imagine. Well, Japanese serving sizes are not the best ever. This one takes 1.25. I want one that is in and around 2 uh, liters. This is 1.25. Um, unless we can find anyone that is more than that. I think that is the one we have to go for. Yeah. It's only an upwards of uh, 8,000 yen though, so it's not that... It's not that much. No, oh. I guess not. We have to figure out how much it like, asks if it is very, very noisy. Yeah, that's true. We need to figure that out. If there's anyone to ask. Well, we have to deal with one liter. We don't have more. It's not decent size whatsoever. Like, I can drink two liters of smoothie all on my own, and now we have to deal with that. Better than nothing, finally we have a brand blender. <laughs> We're eating nothing but uh, bread and um, cereals for breakfast, unless we have goop. So here's the cakes. We bought she donuts. They, yeah, the most funny looking, I guess. And the Oreo cake, we, actually, we we had to buy that one. And look at this little fellow. There's a teddy bear. Yeah. And in this box, oh, it's even, it's even a little cold. Um, okay, cooling element. I told you. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You were yeah. afraid that it all would, um, it all would melt off, but no. Yeah, but it has been really sunny and like. 26 27 degrees so yeah. in every other con um, other situation everything here would be totally melted down and what i also think is really genius this muffin come in this form so it stays just as beautiful as it was in the store 
Look at these rolls. <laughs> mm-hmm. And all the pastries are vegan. That's something that's amazing. I'm just so sick of going to Starbucks. Like, you, you still decided to have the sugar one, despite... This is cinnamon, though. Yeah, they got cinnamon and sugar, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think those was the one best looking. Yeah. But we can go back and try the other ones. Yeah, so we'll just eat this while enjoying this straight line mission. Yeah. It's, uh, it's amazing. As for now, the blender is set up here as a uh, solution for now. I got Panasonic <laughs> to make smoothie. <laughs> and we got uh, Kikoman with, um, with uh, cereals. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Uh, I haven't got the Kikoman milk right now, but uh, this one works too. And we actually found dates. <laughs> you can actually find dates in Japan. And the, the regular berry. Um, Berry mix and the regular uh, American mix. Like they have the same thing as here. And we have oatmeal. Oatmeal is a little bit more expensive in Japan than most other places for some reason. Uh, <laughs> not cultural. So yeah, I can make the regular um, milkshake that I do in Norway, but in Japan I only have to do with like half the amount. <laughs> A little piece of advice if you're doing the same thing. Maybe grinding up the uh, dates separately before uh, adding the rest. I have just a tiny bit of uh, soy milk in. And it works wonders. So basically, uh, the main ingredients if you want to make something like this is dates. It's some kind of plant milk and bananas. You can add uh, any like chocolate flavor, you can add in berries, you can do it whatever. I had a bunch of things in there just to make it really healthy. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> well, this, this thing isn't the greatest. I mean, it seems okay now, but I didn't do anything. But give it a little bit of rest and it will go again. And then it will stop again. My gosh. After uh, pressing it a little, it uh, works. And um, from my older blender, I, I can feel this uh, familiar um, smell of berries and combustion. Well, can we get a vegan egg in Japan? Um, probably. Um, and I got vegan egg. How did I get it? Um, there's something called the internet. If there is something vegan that you don't have where you live, you can actually order it online. Just like, like yeah, if, if, if it's seemingly difficult to be vegan somewhere, you still have access to the internet, don't you? Well, there's something you got to know about this type of egg replacer is that where you get the egg taste from, it's uh, sulfur salt. The thing is, if you mix anything with salt, it's a very hard not getting it soggy. So it needs another technique. I don't know it, but it, it turns out okay. Yeah, that's breakfast. Like you might think that we eat out most of the time uh, while we're here. And it's true that we eat out more here than we do in Norway, obviously. Uh, but uh, no, most our meals are made uh, in the house. Or do you disagree? No. No. <laughs> So now we've actually finally gotten to make proper milkshake from bottom. Uh, this is like the main thing I have for breakfast in Norway. Here it has been mostly, yeah, white bread and cereals, unless we have oatmeal. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just glad that we've finally got something to, to eat that is healthier. Yeah. <laughs> So they've said that it doesn't taste German on Happy Cow. Let me see if I think it tastes German. Hmm. Not far off. It's really salty though. A little bit less salt maybe. Maybe let the dough stay for a... yeah an hour longer not bad it's actually really good 
Yeah, finalism. Actual healthy breakfast. Haven't had that in a long while. Well, oatmeal isn't unhealthy, but uh, <laughs> it gets a little boring after a while. Yeah. Are you satisfied? Yeah. Yeah. I have to, like, um, force it out of her every single time. <laughs> That's true. I have to force your opinion out every single time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, breakfast was nice. Uh, I have recently been on a podcast with a different YouTube creator. Um, this video will be much later than that though. <laughs> now, uh, for our next trip we need some more equipment, right? Yeah. Next to the local mall. There's a car outside. Wow. say it's a little bit embarrassing almost when uh, I see the uh, Wakayama prefecture's uh, police call and um, I personally talked to two of the men in the call <laughs> yeah I've talked to the police so many times in Wakayama it's ridiculous getting your jacket fixed yeah so that zipper broke uh, while we were bicycling that rainy day. Yeah, the rainy day it broke. Yeah. So I had to uh, like bicycle with an open jacket uh, a lot of the time. No yeah. wonder why I got so <laughs> wet during the day. Yeah, absolutely drenched you got. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> luckily there's a place who fixed it. It, uh, it cost you 11,000 yen. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's a good jacket. So, it's yeah. worth it? Yeah. yeah, and like you have to make it worth it because it's better to, better to repair it than to buy a new one. Yeah, like uh, environmentally and uh, uh, what's called consumerism wise. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, quite fitting now. It's pouring rain. Everything we bought today has been uh, rain related. Like even you sent in your coat to be fixed. Your shell coat. Yeah. And another thing is uh, umbrellas is a favorite thing because I'm not like uh, soaking wet customers in Japan. Yeah. Uh, not really the uh, most convenient thing ever. Well, we've thought out a few solutions because it isn't so easy to uh, bicycle around with those. Yeah, I'm a model at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be fancy. <laughs> yeah, you're doing a good job. Yeah. Okay. You have stuff to, to show. Yeah. So here's uh, some of the solutions we've come up with. Like uh, uh, these we bought uh, in Beppu because we really needed. Um... Uh, yeah, we needed some umbrellas. Yeah, and uh, those are easy to bring with us. We could just have them in the backpacks. So this is definitely something we will take with us next biking trip. And this is the solution. Uh, we bought this and then we can just clip them on, clip them off. Clip them off, clip them off after our needs. And we did the same because you can't bicycle with umbrellas, right? So we bought uh, a pocket coat. Um, and we basically the we're thinking of doing the same, but this is not ideal. Uh, we see more how we can bring it on, but then we can just the idea is that we can just 
put them on outside of the our of our bags and they won't so they won't take any extra space they will just hang there in in base where it's uh where but it doesn't take any space basically yeah so that's the solutions so we are finally ready for some more rainy days